The chorus for the repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act has grown louder with two chief ministers, Nagaland Chief Minister Nephew Rio and Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, openly calling for removal of the act in the region. While paying his last respect to the victims of the firing incident in Mon district yesterday, Chief Minister Rio called AFSPA a draconian act which has no place in a democratic country like India. Biggest democratic country in the world, Pragana, Ekana, Inaka, Niem Rakado. Think no way, Pragana, Abakan, Boys, Kurano, eh? Pura, world, though, into like a low criticized crisis. Harabala, like a crisis. Our state government, only me, human right, only me. Aji, Abnagan, Kuadishina. Into Hatawala, eh? Abakan state part of fifty nine years, which you do. Our state government be it will hatabi. Nagaland to disturb state as eh? Are so cease for day as eh? Shanti as eh? Kill eh? It will disturb Kobo. Yet it disturb nigh, it will extend number be. Amagan, cabinet, Bohikana, it will kill you. Daily day, it will daily extend good day. And well, Rio also said that he has taken up the issue of removal of APSPA with Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Kali Puzude Amit Shah, Union Home Minister Amar Lugode phone person. Nagalindi situation via Seki Nagas. Nagalindi situation so balase. Army he guilty Gurushe. Innocent civilian ke marishe. Ama kantu law and order control kuru wale. Security divle dake se. Ta khani law and order trade kodi se. Ki kuru wo? Koi ke na argument kodi. To the tai ash. Agni ito. Guilty ho se. Koi ke na. Defense minister bhi. Phone kuri ke na. Ama loko te kata. Shri kor. Ranga Pahar, Matthew B, General Matthew B, Amar Lohko Dei Phon Kuri Gna Kota Kota Kota. Amar Gan Phale, Ki Kova Lagay Khoi, Ki Tu Ta Khan, Niem Ekta, Lo Ekta Bra, Jani Vidye, Ekko Kuro Bondha Re. Ki Tu Ami, Kota, Ta Khan Lohko Dei, Du Ji Gna, Alop Jor Kota Kwa Ni Vidye, For the first time, RB para amakan gildi kurishe ko laga document olai se Meanwhile, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma reiterated that the APSPA should be repealed from Nagaland as he joined the growing chorus for withdrawal of the law. The stand that uh, we have taken uh, on the Armed Forces Special Power Act uh, has been there for a very long time. It's not that we just decided this, uh, you know, in the last few days. Uh, so from uh, our leader, Mr. late Mr. P. S. Sangma's time, uh, we have opposed the Armed Forces Special Power Act. So it's been a stand for a very long time. So it's not that we uh, just did it just now. That's number one. Number two, what uh, we need to understand uh, is that uh, we need to look at the larger point. And the larger point here is really about um, the issues that we face in the Northeast whether it's uh, the development issues, whether it's uh, issues related to youth, insurgency, uh, issues of identity, um, the peace and the law and order situation and national security. And the whole situation of uh, looking at it from the point of view of a stand that one takes. Now the problem here is that uh, we all agree on the issues that are there. But it is a stand that we take on a particular point that we defer in. For example, now law and order is a problem, but then uh, uh, some people felt that APSA, uh, this Armed Forces Special Power Act, is the way to move forward. But then uh, we have seen that that stand of putting the Armed Forces Special Power Act has not really given any results. And uh, in the last many, many years that the Armed Forces Special Power Act has been there, it has only been counterproductive and uh, there has been more unrest and have had situations where a lot of precious lives have been lost 
and people have to go had to go through a lot of pain and suffering so therefore we're very clear in our stand that though the issues are there and we need to address those issues there are many other ways to address those issues and armed forces special power act definitely is not the way to address those issues and that is why we continue to keep our stand against the armed forces special power act and we will urge the government of india to repeal this draconian act and assam chief minister himant biswa sharma said that the states can take a call on afspa withdrawal in consultation with center given the law and order situation is conducive এটা তো স্টেট गवर्नमेंटৰ আমাৰ লগত কিছু যদি স্টেট কোনোবা স্টেট गवर्नमेंटে বিচাৰে যে নিজৰ স্টেট অফ স্পেশাল পাৱাৰ এক লিখিব নালাগে স্টেট गवर्नमेंट কেন উইথড্ৰ আমি সেন্ট্ৰেলৰ লগত আলোচনা কৰি ডিপেন্ড কৰে যে স্টেটৰ লয় এনৰ সিচুৱেচনটো কেনে On the other hand Tripura Royal Sign and Tripura Chairman Pradyup Dev Verma has also joined in chorus demanding for the revocation of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act The Royal Sign said that AFSPA has failed since it was implemented in the Northeast for the last 63 years He added that the act has only alienated the people of Northeast from the mainland and said it is high time for the government to repeal the act A law on the 11th of September 1958 was enacted which is R911 frankly called AFSPA AFSPA has failed miserably in the last 63 years It has done nothing but further alienate the people of Northeast whether it's Mizoram, Meghalaya, Tripura, Arunachal, Assam everywhere. I mean, we felt a sense of alienation. Women have been raped, people have been killed in judicial investigations. There has been a lot of fingers raised towards everyone and this has led to a lot of misunderstanding and insecurity between the mainland and the Northeast. I appeal to the government of India we are also a part of the country which you lead do not be arrogant do not be stubborn please listen to our voices please repeal afspa you have repealed the farmers bill because of constant pressure of the farmers on the borders of delhi you have not repealed ca because we do not have the power or the perseverance to reach delhi to make you uncomfortable or we don't even have the seats in the lok sabha or the rajya sabha and now afspa where 13 of our naga brothers and sisters have been killed or many times assaulted molested not only in nagaland but everywhere in the northeast the government of india should have a, uh, a heart and think about the people of northeast we are an integral part of the country not a strategic part so I appeal to the government of India the time has come for you to reconsider and repeal afspa and also repeal citizenship amendment act an act which further alienates us from the mainstream i would just appeal to the government that please listen to our voices we are talking to you through social media we are talking to you through democratic forums this is the genuine concern and voice of the people of the northeast 